Insigni All Guns Blazing is a fast-paced, visually striking shoot-'em-up that merges classic arcade-style action with next-generation graphics. The game takes players into a futuristic battle where they must pilot a lone fighter jet to survive waves of relentless enemies. The gameplay features strategic energy management between weapons and shields, air-to-air -air and air-to-ground attacks, and epic boss fights. Its cinematic visuals, detailed environments, and intense soundscapes deliver an immersive and challenging experience for fans of the genre. Static Brutal is a brutal first-person shooter set in a dystopian Eastern European country under the control of a paranoid dictator. The game features visceral combat with a wide array of firearms, including pistols, shotguns, and rocket launchers. Players take on hordes of mutated monsters, soldiers, and powerful bosses while navigating detailed environments filled with puzzles. The game combines the intense action of classics like Half-Life and Doom with dark themes and a high level of gore. The Escalation of Freedom update is the biggest content expansion for Helldivers 2. It introduces a new level of difficulty called Super Helldive, which adds even tougher enemy hordes for more significant rewards. Players will face new foes such as the Impaler, Spore Charger, and Rocket Tank, each presenting unique combat challenges. Additionally, the update features new mission objectives, enhanced enemy outposts, and a spooky swamp environment with weather hazards like acid storms affecting both players and enemies. The Impaler ruins that plan. They will maybe cut off your escape route, and then you will probably have to stay and fight. Or you can fight the tentacles. The Spore Charger. This one has fog traveling around it. It's constantly moving, so it's going to come right out of the fog and scare the lights out of you. The automatons are bringing in artillery. A big tank that shoots rockets. If you're further away, you can see it aimed towards the skies and fire rockets in the air, so you have a barrage coming down on you. In addition, you'll face off against heavier, more deadly brood commanders. With a small twist. The allies that it spawn will not be the ones that you used to. Difficulty 10 has more enemies than we've had before on lower difficulties. Hellbreach Vegas is a wave-based first-person shooter set in a demon-infested Las Vegas. Developed by a solo developer, this game allows up to four players to face off against hordes of demons across seven different maps. With gameplay modes such as Survive, Trapped, and the new Nightmare mode, players can use an arsenal of 19 guns, melee weapons, and perks to survive. The game takes players through iconic Vegas locations like casinos and Area 51, providing a mix of action and strategy.
Colonies of the Remnant is a post-apocalyptic survival game where players must establish and develop their own colonies while defending against both the undead and rival colonies. The game allows players to switch between first-person and third-person perspectives, offering a mix of strategic base management and action-packed battles. Key features include open-world exploration, colony building, resource management, and alliances or conflicts with other colonies. The Hunt Showdown 1896 update introduces a new era to the game, featuring a brand new map called Mammon's Gulch. Set in the rugged, rocky mountains of Colorado, this map offers more verticality and new tactical opportunities, with 16 distinct compounds such as Oro Gordo Mine and Blackthorn Stockyard. The map is designed with larger megastructure compounds and underground mines, creating more varied and strategic gameplay. that thing and let's get the bounty out of here I'll do the honors in Squirrel with a Gun, you play as a gun-wielding squirrel causing chaos in a neighborhood sandbox. The game mixes shooter mechanics with puzzle platforming, where your goal is to collect golden acorns and fight against agents trying to stop you. The game features a variety of weapons, physics-based puzzles, and even lets you harass or help people in the world for different outcomes. It's designed for fun, goofy, and chaotic gameplay, perfect for players looking for a quirky experience. Kimbot is a fast-paced 3D action-adventure platformer that draws heavy inspiration from classic games like Ratchet and Clank. You play as Exe, an outlaw robot accompanied by a quirky sidekick named Shipset on a mission to save the universe from destruction. The game is set in a colorful sci-fi world populated entirely by robots, and it offers plenty of platforming challenges, intense gunfights, and space battles. Fresh.
precious idols as strong as a real weapon. You're in for it now, feather face. Ships set evil wears on the warpath. I Am Your Beast is a fast-paced, covert revenge thriller FPS where players take on the role of retired secret agent Alphonse Harding. The game focuses on a brutal guerrilla war set in the North American wilderness as Harding fights against the military-industrial complex that has turned against him after declining one last mission. The gameplay combines stealth, action, and fast-paced combat with an emphasis on using the environment and enemies' equipment against them. He's going for the head! Be careful what you wish for. Exophobia is a retro-inspired, fast-paced, first-person shooter set on a human spaceship that has been overrun by hostile aliens. The game mixes classic boomer shooter elements with Metroidvania-style exploration, where players progressively unlock new areas and abilities through weapon upgrades. The pixel art style and vibrant color palette add to the game's nostalgic appeal, while its challenging combat and exploration keep players on their toes. Versus the Mutants is a top-down, action-packed roguelite set in a post-apocalyptic world overrun by flesh-eating mutants. The game centers around Earl, a former pest exterminator who now battles mutants with a variety of vehicle-mounted weapons, drones, and powerful upgrades. The gameplay encourages players to engage head-on with mutants using unique builds and vehicle combat, creating a fast-paced and chaotic experience. Once Human is a multiplayer open-world survival game set in a post-apocalyptic future where humanity has been altered by an alien substance called Stardust. Players become metahumans, gaining supernatural abilities to survive the chaotic world filled with mutated creatures and dangerous factions. The game emphasizes exploration, base building, and intense combat against both monsters and human enemies. It offers PvE and PvP modes, as well as detailed crafting and customization systems. 